Now back into game 3, first half we go, we're going to be seeing Ayu with her mesh blink insolence attention and survivor wise I'm more surprised you let it to see her out, but of course a bar may be nearby as well though, this could potentially mean some good stuff. Anyways, let's go on towards the game. Okay, let's see here. I.E. spawning by uh, Moon Gage, Moon Runes. We most likely will be seeing Barmaid being the first chase here, but deciding not to actually link up any of the Cypher machines early game. Chasing after Barmaid here would be really hard to do, and for some odd reason we are lagging, even though the Wi-Fi is completely fine. Oh well, what can I do about it? Mm, Barmaid rotating straight towards the double pallet area here, and now we are going to link up. I mean, linking up now shouldn't be too bad. Everyone kind of just rotated around the place, and there's only two of them that actually has any of the electricity on them. But Barmaid successfully side dodging that well. Well, I ain't kind of missed it, to be honest with you. Um, so, even if Barmy gets the first hit here, I think we're most likely going to wait for before Blink is ready. But before Blink is ready, it means that it's probably going to be a, a trouble hit here. Alongside with Blink. Barmy still trying to play around here for as long as possible. It's going to be a slow pallet breaking in an era like this. But playing Hermit in Leos with so many pallets on high walls around, it's not really the best course of action. I would even say that the, that the fact, like, if you get a hit here... It's going to be either an hour or just an immediate doubling. There's no way Barmy is afraid of Blink right now. There's no way Barmy is afraid of Blink right now. All what Barmy needs to do is to rotate surely but slowly and see here comes out the Seer Owl. Seer Owl? No Owl come here, they're just here, but I'm also missing the Terror Shock hit. Oh well, we still do have phase 2 though, we still have the min mini teleportation there though, but with the owl fail, we could just conclude that, you know, Barmaid successfully healed as well. From what I'm seeing here, Barmaid one centimeter away from that red milk or, or, or my lord, but missing the second one there, and he's kind of panicking here now, and he's 100% panicking here now, it will be a 3 cypher machine progress done, but... But, but Barmy still needs two hit dead. Well, I would argue three hits down. But for now, it seems like Ayi is patiently waiting for his teleportation to be ready as well. Missing the next Miracle Orb there. Seems like Ayi hasn't really played this guy after Koa ended. So, I mean, it's not really... I don't I don't think it's a good idea to play Hermit after Koa ended. But we are going to be able to get a normal hit here. Barmy is starting to heal up once again. But with this heal up here, we are going to be forced to link up the Cypher Machines. And we can't teleport right over. Mm, Barmy is still trying to play around here for as long as possible. But taking the window speed boost there though. Going to pull a, a quite a bit of a tight kite distance here. We're going to disconnect Cypher Machines once again. That's not that much of a bad predicament. Coming from a Hermit side. But also Barmaid... Barmy is just kiting like insanely well right now. We also do see forward with an extra elbow pad there for the Barmy, but by this time in towards the game, if you want to land on another hit on the Barmaid, you don't have blink. It's currently three minutes in towards the game. It seems like the Cypher machine is currently at 71%. We're going to change targets towards the Cordy right now. Even if you change targets towards the Cordy, it doesn't matter, as Ford has brought an elbow pad for the Barmy to use. For Barmaid herself, she probably does know that she doesn't need to actually consume any of her items right now. If she gets hit down immediately, we can just have a we can we can just have like Cordy to come in to rescue. No problem. We probably won't use gun, but having Cordy to rescue probably is more than enough. We do see that forward is nearby trying to open that chest, but that chest is only half opened right now. So with that teleportation in, everything overall should be fine. Now the the only issue here is we can put a blue orb down in order for us to yeah counter the kind of Canada forward in general so so it's not too bad for now but we can definitely come in with a lawn ball stun it just depends if I actually uh, okay I was trying to prevent the stun that's fine that's fine but even if you do prevent the stun all what all what forward needs to do is to walk in all what forward needs to do is to walk in right now we're gonna walk in get a normal rescue seems like Ty Turner will be used and Barmaid deciding to use her body as a wall for us to stun the hunter but that wasn't that much of a long stun there though so that's kind of a bit of an issue if we can get a stun we got a stun here okay there goes down Barmaid immediately we have to link up the cypher machines now I will have to link up the cypher machines here first and foremost immediately but it does seem like Fulan's 
Who lands? No, it's not open. Okay, it didn't land. It didn't land. It didn't land. It's it's a tree problem. It's not it's not a player problem. It's it's a map it's a it's a map problem. Okay, it's a map problem. But knowing from this side as well, though, four does have quite a bit of balls remaining. So if we do decide to chair back in basement, four could potentially pull a full ball just to get the rescue right now it simply depends and he is going to chair immediately ford is going to start pulling a quite long ball we're going to get a stun and if we can successfully body block here it'll be a four-man escape but also there's an elbow pad so we elbow pad out immediately it seems like that elbow pad was a little bit of a faulty elbow pad now then there's going to be a gun on cordy on the other side but cordy will have to get this gun out properly no one got stuns just yet coordinator still trying to look coordinator still trying to look but there's a forward wait a second we need three survivors with a blue in order for us to ah uh, yeah we need three survivors in order for for cordy to to, to 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 survive but anyways that's gonna be a cordy dead on the ground with a gun let's move on to our second half now let's see second half is gonna be Sam with insulin attention blink as Anne. we're gonna be seeing a teeth here alongside with a psychologist teeth coming out once in a while it's nice to see it's really nice to see the last time i've seen playing play okay so i'm spawning by the one of the sides here it's going to be a cross-section bond as it seems we are going to be seeing the antiquarian crouching once again behind the tree alongside with the with the cargo uh it seems like we're gonna go into our shack right now but into shack having not having tonight is here tonight should be popping up pretty darn soon so i probably does realize that the survivor is actually near the double pallet area here near christmas tree instead but with that mini lag there in which i don't know why i, I it's it's a bit weird that we're lagging so much recently Mm, but that's gonna be a normal hit they don't register on towards anti current just yet but it should be yeah we have a second one right there we did manage to get the cat on at least so it's gonna be a bit of mind games here playing here and there but without that normal stun and that normal hit it seems like we'll be forcing anti current to put the pilot down for me personally i i don't know if it was a good idea to well well it probably was a good idea because blink was ready but if blink wasn't ready during that time you probably don't need to put the pallet down there's no toy merchant in this game as well so it's gonna be a second cat coming out and it's gonna be a second jump i i'm probably gonna pause this real quick because i don't know why it's like slow when it shouldn't be slow but back in towards the game we go it's a little bit smoother we also do see that the thief is gonna come in with a T you see the thing is right team coming in with the flashlight to disable and skills fair enough but 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 Anne is fast on her feet i'm quite sure and it's quite fast on her feet isn't she but anyways there is a basement for the guaranteed tie so we can 100 percent turning basement right now but with a teeth nearby i i don't think it's yeah if, if there's a teeth nearby it's not a good idea we're just gonna go back we're just gonna go back but then seeing that teeth is also here it can only mean one thing and one thing only and that is we can't share back into basement anymore now mercenary seems like he will be on his way right after finishing his cypher machine thankfully but even after finishing the cypher machine there mm, overall it's gonna be quite overall overall like they're, they're, they're gonna have two survivors nearby i don't i don't see mercy coming in but that's a beautiful flywheel and that's another stun on towards the teeth but i think i think the flashlight actually changed everything over we got the hit on the teeth though we got a t we got a hit on Teef though. We can probably try just just try teething basement here. I think just trying teething basement here wouldn't be a bad idea. But we're deciding to actually leave Teef on the ground to sell feel and go look for Anti Kuren instead. Anti who only has one flute left on her hands and an immediate stun, and we'll be seeing Anti Kuren on the ground here. So okay, fair enough, fair enough. Let's say we're gonna be changing. We don't need to change targets just yet. But seeing that the other two cipher machines are currently being decoded, Ihua will be forced to come in. But with this cipher machine progress here, even if Teeth comes in to harass, you're not gonna be able to do much against a phase two and because like you can use one one cat to jump away from the flashlight area and then another cash to catch up towards the anti -curian. But of course, uh, you yeah, know, there's a lot of that's a bit of cats isn't it we're gonna get a normal hit here we are gonna get a normal hit here that's gonna be a normal stun okay that's gonna be stun number two we're deciding to tunnel thief tunnel thief is a good idea tunnel thief there is a good idea because thief doesn't have self-heal anymore and guess what they're missing three full cypher machines and even if mercenary body blocks here there's not even much you can do uh that wasn't that much of a long cut sadly but we are still able to get a stun mercenary wasn't able to pilot stun on time so we're probably gonna aim for mercenary for a second oh we're not okay we're not I thought we would aim for a second hit right there, but 
but it is a tie game. It is, it is, it is 100% a tie game right now. We're gonna not heal. Oh yeah, we can't heal the, we cannot heal the teeth. Because this is an insolence detention. So max heal is actually 60% right there. We're deciding to chair teeth. And Mercy coming in to rescue. Mercy will probably be forced rescue here. Mercy will 100% be forced rescue here. We're going to be waiting. Mercenary, that's not a good elbow pad. That's a faulty elbow pad. We're going to get... Oh, we didn't get our hit at least. We didn't get the hit at least. We didn't get the hit at least. That's going to be the second elbow pad. But we have another jump. So... So... We could, we, could, we, could, we could potentially just blink Mercy down here. Is what, yeah, we, we're probably just going to blink Mercy down here. Mercy and I are going into it towards this air right now. We're waiting for our next cats. But with blink ready and all to go, it seems like it's going to be one cat out. And we probably don't need... Well, it seems like we are blinking. I feel like it's probably better to save blink for endgame. But knowing this area... It's gonna be a bit hard to do. It's gonna be it's gonna be a bit hard to do. Now, psychologist on towards she goes towards the corner cipher machine right now. The 44% cipher machine. Mercenary getting a perfume. A perfume is, is actually really good here. Perfume is actually really good here. But we are able to get the stun. We are able to get the stun. We are able to get the hit. And it seems like the cat will immediately go back straight towards Mercy. So that's gonna be a double hit situation here. We're gonna hit the teeth. That's very nicely done. And Seems like the cipher machine isn't primed just yet. Okay, not bad overall. So I'm. Um, it's not looking at the cipher machine progress. So he's just waiting for one of them to go down. Okay, gonna pick up the teeth just on time. And let's congratulate the three-man escape here coming out from Soim. Moving on straight towards match three of today.